For those who don't know, Piers Morgan is an absolute fucking legend. He's the guy that ate a Big Mac live on air in front of a crazy vegan. And <laughs> Anyway, look, I'm stuck. Anyway, look, I'm stuck. Anyway, look, I'm stuck. Anyway, look, I'm stuck. When someone kills bees to feed their avocado, have it? Mine. A couple of years ago, he did an interview with now who's the former Deputy Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Therese Coffey. Now, Piers Morgan. Ask you a question about your your uh, residences. Oh, are you all right over there? You've you got a phone ringing. Are you okay? Yeah. I've just realised my alarm is going off on my phone. Oh, I my apologize. goodness. What is the alarm You're for? getting a bit of Dr. Dre. You're... It's just an 8 o'clock alarm. Sorry. It is Let Dr. Dre, is it? That's fantastic. Therese Coffee. Now, Piers Morgan conducts a great interview with Therese Coffee. So what Therese Coffee says, basically, is so fucking true. Therese Coffee says something along the lines of why people who are who have the flu are probably obese and probably um, old. So basically, to sum up what she's saying is people who are in their 20s and people, young people who are in good shape, they are more likely to beat the flu or probably who they probably will beat the flu. But people who are in their 50s and people who are like 500 pounds, they are probably not going to handle the flu very well. But, you know, with all this woke bullshit around you guys now nowadays, People are, people think obesity is healthy, and it's like, what the fuck are you even talking about? It's like the term common sense was pulled out of some fairy tale. And you guys, just to show you I'm not fat shaming anyone, Boris Johnson, who is now the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, said that when he had COVID, he was suffering from it because, and I quote, these are his own words, he said that he was too fat. So I'd like to point out, after Prime Minister Boris Johnson emerged from hospital, having recovered from coronavirus, he himself had a press conference at which he said he had an underlying issue and said literally, I was too fat. I'm more than a stone down. But when I went into ICU, uh, when I was really ill, I was, I was, I was very, I was way overweight, I was way overweight, I was way overweight, I was way overweight. Those were his own words, you guys. But nonetheless, here's the clip. We have a variety of reasons why people, uh, unfortunately, have died due to this. Uh, some of that will be recognising the uh, age of our population. Some of that will be recognising the obesity of our population. Because of the public, they're too old and they're too fat. My response to you destroying all these things. My response to you. My response to you destroying all these things. My response to you. My response to you destroying all these things. My response to you. My response to you destroying all these things. My response to you is to have a Big Mac because you know what? It's a free country. It's a democracy, and I'm allowed to eat meat, and I'm certainly allowed to eat meat by someone who kills bees to feed their avocado. Have it, mine. So just before I end the video here, I'm just going to add something back onto the topic of obesity. So I'm not really trying to quote unquote be fat phobic, but to, just to clarify what I was saying was- You're gonna fucking die! That obviously people who are obese are obviously more likely to get diabetes, cancer, and the flu. That's called being immune compromised. And when you're obese, you're going to have a really hard time fighting these things. It's going to be a big struggle. But you guys, I know that I'm not a doctor. However, these are just fucking facts. And all it requires is common sense.